Hello, my name is Anna Warren, and I am the Pentecostal Church of God Global Education Director. As we begin week four of Impact Eternity Month, the theme for the week is prayer for the nations. In Matthew 6, 5 through 13, Jesus tells us how to pray. The words that he gives us are, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Our prayers should revolve around the kingdom of God on earth. So as we intercede for the nations, we pray for the end of poverty and the liberation of the oppressed. We pray for the widows and the orphans to be cared for and for the lost to be found in Jesus. This is the heart of God for the nations, and this should be our heart as we pray for the nations. Prayer in itself is a simple task, as it is a conversation with God. But Paul writes in 1 Thessalonians 5.17 that we are to pray without ceasing. So praying the establishment of the kingdom of God around the world is a continual action that we are to take part of. As you read and meditate on the devotions of this week, you will find seven actions that are done through prayer. I wanted to encourage you to expand your prayer focus outward to the nations, that you would pray for the kingdom of God to be established around the globe. I'd also like to encourage you to pray for the workers that are in foreign fields of ministry, that they would continually be strengthened and empowered as they make disciples of all nations. Thank you.